if your paper is rejecting again and again from Q3, Q4 category, then how you can use AI tools to improve the quality of your paper so that it can be accepted at Q1 category. In this video, I'm going to use a free AI tool which is going to evaluate all the sections of your paper and is going to provide you the suggestions which are required to improve each section and what kind of information you have to include to make it at the level of Q1 category journal so stay tuned i'm going to do the comparison of three ai tools you can use any but the third one is my most favorite and i always prefer to use this tool when i'm doing brainstorming when i look for suggestions or when i am confused and i want clarity on my thoughts the first tool is chat gpt i will just click on the plus option and will choose its option add photo or files and click on it analyze this paper it has been rejected from the q1 category journal even you can mention the name of the journal suggest the changes needed to improve each section to make it capable of being accepted at q1 category journal and again you can provide the name of a journal if you have selected or you want to reach out as chat gpt is uh, providing us the suggestions after evaluating the attached file i'm going to feed the same instruction to another tool which is by google gemini one of my most favorite tools when i'm brainstorming and asking for suggestions it's again providing me the upload option and i will press on upload and we'll feed the same instruction to this tool again. Now ChatGPT has done its work. Now you can see that it said that current issue in the title is it is clear but generic. The abstract is missing not found in the file. Q1 level improvement you need to do to make it more professional or improve the quality of the paper. Make it sharper and more specific. This is the suggestion which ChatGPT provide me to improve the title of the paper. Then this is the abstract which I have to write. I have to structure it in this way. Then this is the introduction and these are the improvements which i have to add in the introduction section this is the problem statement good start but needs like a summary not a research justification and then i will improve it and then this is the research questions which i need to improve literature review improvement methodology results and discussions and conclusions and then i have to replace low quality citations with the q1 and q2 journal citations now look at the suggestions with gemini i provide me i'm using the free version of these tools and you can take the same response by using the free version and you can access them from the link which are available in description analysis journal strength and weakness the paper demonstrate a solid fundamental understanding of the topic covering a broad range of ai models and specification in scientific research however this is the section by section analysis and suggestions introduction and problem statement this also provide me in the link of the pages also current state and for fq for q1 these are the improvements required in the introduction section. This is the current state of the literature review and these are the improvements. These are the quite generic improvements which Gemini AI provide me. But when I move forward to my most favorite tool, which is again by Google, but with the most advanced, most improved version is the Google AI Studio. Now, the problem is when I click on upload file, it will, its free model is not going to support this feature. So what I have to do, I have to feed my uh, query and then I will go to the paper I will open it and will select the paper because Google AI Studio allows me to face unlimited number of words in its prompt writing section and what I will do I will copy my entire paper and will paste in this section now I will press on a run button and I will see the suggestions and I will show you a deep comparisons of the suggestion which Google AI Studio provide me and we have selected among ChatGPT and Gemini and I found ChatGPT suggestions more comprehensive and brief as compared to uh, the Gemini one. But first have a look on the suggestions which Google AI Studio is giving me to improve each section of my paper and even I can change the response but first look at this comprehensive analysis which Google AI Studio did for me. Overall assessment, the paper as presented read like an undergraduate literature review. It lacks depth, critical analysis and a strong focus. It's descriptive rather than analytical. The tone is often too general and the writing style is sometimes repetitive and unclear. The research questions are broad. The acceptance in keyword journal, it needs a significant overhaul. So, 
general recommendation for q1 category which i have to keep in my mind sharpen the focus the title suggest a uh, review of state our techniques a q1 needs to beyond that it needs to critically evaluate these techniques in the context of a specific problem of application within scientific research considering narrowing the scope for example ai driven text generation for meta analysis in clinical trials opportunities and challenges so these are three options of the titles which have been provided to me and going through each title the one which i like most i can keep in my mind or i can feed this tool to provide me the suggestions based on this title so i will get entirely new suggestions which we are focusing are related to that specific title and will help me to make my uh, this uh, paper more focused more problem solution oriented then move beyond description descriptive to critical analysis q1 general prioritize papers that offer new insights synthesize existing knowledge in a novel way or a challenging existing existing assumptions avoid simply summarizing what other have to said so you have to identify the gap compare and contrast then you have to synthesize your gap strengths the research question and it also provide me the very critical very to the point suggestions to improve the research questions then improve writing quality address ethical implications thoroughly bias implications transparency and accountability authorships and intellectual property i have to keep in mind while writing all the previous work which have been done add a methodological section section by section analysis and improvement suggestions so this is the section by section analysis in introduction i have to do these are the weakness and these all are the improvements which i can do so when i have done what what was in my mind when i go through these suggestions these will open a new door of knowledge for me new door of thinking for me new door of evaluation the already existing information already existing literature which i have and i will dig into that and i will start uh, evaluating and to come up with a new kind of information by keeping these points in my mind so start with a strong hook being with a statics or compelling example like let's say the potential of ai driven text generation in scientific research uh, you have to select any one of the areas and then immediately introduce the focus then you have to highlight the need for the review and then concise problem statement and clearly state the scope so it changed the structure and it gave me a new structure with a new flow and also give me a clarity what i have to include what i have to exclude so by keeping in view that inclusive and inclusive criteria i will be able to write a very solid in introduction focusing on specifically the problem on which which i have highlighted in the title then the literature review these are the weaknesses these are the improvements then the foundation of ai driven text generation these are the weaknesses these are the improvements deep learning models for the text generations these are the if for example I have, these are the weaknesses and all these areas areas have been addressed very critically in depth and google ai studio provided me the exact information which i have to put in my paper to make it for q1 category journal so after addressing all these points with google ai studio have provided me definitely i can improve my paper from q4 category to q2 or at least q3 category if not yet q1 if i am not an experienced writer so you can use google ai studio to improve the quality of any kind of a research document it not restricted to any kind of a research paper only you can get an idea that how you can convert your thesis into papers by including your thesis and by brainstorming on it and by it giving it you the idea that how much publications you can do from that paper and how you have to bifurcate your work of your thesis in the form of a multiple publications and my upcoming videos in my upcoming videos i am going to cover this topic in detail and in the same way if you are feeling stuck at any stage and you want the solution with the help of ai or without ai you can ask in the comment section i will provide the solution in my next upcoming videos and if you are feeling stuck uh, that how you can choose the best ai tools what is the best process to write with the help of ai tools i have uh, compiled a five hours very in detail course which you can access from the link which is again available in description where you will go through a step by step process you have to adopt while writing any kind of a research document either it's a research paper review paper your research proposal your thesis and how the combination of free 
and paid AI tool is going to help you to make you a pro writer with the help of AI tools without being caught. I have also pinned the list of my AI in research tool playlist, which is available on my YouTube. You can access it and can enhance your knowledge and can go through multiple AI tools, which are going to help you in your research journey. So before leaving, if you have not yet subscribed my channel, subscribe it because in future, I'm going to share multiple hacks, which are going to make your research journey easy and fast and professional also. I will see you in another video. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.